Rooney. 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 The Arsons had oddly shaped feet. <laughs> the artists that had oddly shaped wieners. No. Oh, hey. Hey, the how's human, it going, everybody? The human torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> We're back for another episode. We didn't do one last week because snowstorm and almost didn't do it today because snowstorm. Snowstorm. Hooray winter time. Yeah. Woo! Snow days. We need to figure out how to start doing this shit from like remote. So when things go bad. <sighs> it's too much work. Yeah, probably. We got this room here with all this stuff. It's a lot easier. Yeah, it's a nice room. You you probably have a setup to record audio at your house, right? Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> yeah, I mean that's true. We all have music equipment now. So yeah, we, yeah, we we pretty much have this at I home. Try, I think you just set up like a uh, a Discord chat and then just grab the audio from there. If we could all have a way to project on there. But anyway, it doesn't have to be art damaged. That's what we were bullshitting about our daily dose of internet or something like that. Yeah. We should have a Twitch channel. Oh, or are we trash? I mean, we could stream on Twitch. That'd be a that'd be a fun thing to do. We can do like a once monthly live show. We should. We should start a Patreon. Who would subscribe to a Patreon? Nobody. Us. Com- <laughs> comment if you would My subscribe mom. to our Patreon. What would Zach, we even give away? Pay in beer. They can vote on topics. We'll give away a free four pack, even yeah, if you're under twenty one. <laughs> free four pack <laughs> only if you're 21 under 21 uh, only if you're um, under 21 <laughs> patreon uh, artist review if anybody wants we could shotgun some of our viewer art yeah send yeah. us your art we'll horribly review it um no. that'd I be a cool make- thing to do anyway we should put that out right now if you got artwork that you want us to critique on here just send it to us yeah what is it you, art studios at gmail.com yeah you okay. might not like our response but yeah but i mean I mean, it's your funeral. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> hey, if, it's free airtime. If it's of something, we'll probably like it. If it's abstract, Josh will say it's shit. Uh, I mean, we'll see, but most likely, yes. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. But anyway, we're going to critique some art today. <gasps> some uh, some nice uh, Renaissance art. Some art Do we early. have a theme? Uh, Is there an underlying theme, or are we just, just going in? Ba- babies, cats, and drunkards. Okay. So our well, usual. You know, drunkards, stuff. sponsored by the North Brewery, who remind you to get tested not just for COVID, but for AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Practice safe sex. Get your AIDS test. Spay oh. and neuter your pets. Eat, eat your vitamins and your vegetables. <laughs> and Con- say your prayers. Consume fruit. After the AIDS test. Consume fruits by drinking one of their new fruit sour beers yeah they're quite delicious yeah right ba- ba- we- basically if they're a 90s p uh psa they want us to promote it Got so it. uh just just google some shit and just we're, say we're, no we're, we're just promoting. do it <laughs> don't get in don't get in vans with strangers tobacco is wacko if you're a teen <laughs> <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires or start forest fires up That's with true. hope down with dope <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, let's plug socials and stuff. I'm Hugs, not drugs. <laughs> I'm Josh Ruff <laughs> at joshruff.com and all the things, www.joshruff.com. And we're here at Renaissance Studios at RS Tattoo and Y on Instagram. Hello, my name is Reggie Cavalier. You can find me <laughs> at Reggie Inks on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I was going to try to do that monotone, but instantly started to giggle. So, Oh, God, I'm Christina Masler at Christina underscore Masler on Instagram, Christina Masler on Facebook. And I help with Crucible Gallery. <laughs> I'm Bam Masler. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Bam underscore Masler. Uh, online at www.bamburnsthings.com. Co-owner of CrucibleArtGallery.com. And owner of Holy Charlatan Clothing. And there it is. Yeah. Cool. We actually get, That's the only part I feel like we actually have organized. Well, yeah. Of this. Because we've done it a bunch of times now. Yeah. Even that sometimes, yeah. All right, let's look at some artwork then. Yeah, so I pulled some artwork. <laughs> um, so I pulled... Uh, is that a Bosch? This is a Bosch. Um, so It looks very trippy like a Hieronymus Bosch. Yep, this was painted between 1520 and 1530, it's estimated at. Looks like the ghost from Spirited Away, given yeah. uh, Eva pep talk. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. No Face, just being like, uh... Uh. <laughs> I thought those like uh, it looked like scratches that and the 
green spot that they're sitting on there, but it, I think that's it's actually scales. Yeah, like I thought it, it was scales? like just paint wear. Yeah, well, I yeah, it was, it's in a scale pattern. No, uh, look at. I, it. I was thinking it was like crackler. No, it looks like they're sitting on a snake or a dragon. Yeah, a Tyrannosaurus. Bosch. It could be anything. Yeah, it's very uh, trippy <coughs> stuff. <laughs> so, all right, so what are we looking at? We got an egg. In the tree. With, like, oh. With a dude hanging on a intestine branch or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought it was a wallaby, but okay. And then there's some ghosts under there. <laughs> and then there's uh, No Face talking to this lady. How much mercury was this guy tripping on? Look think? at all the people in the water just fucking skinny dipping, too. Is that water? Like, what? Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's water. I love this painting, and I'm jealous of everything this guy ever did, but holy shit, what drugs was he on? Well, yeah, this was the first surrealist ever, I would say. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> well, it was a 1500, so whatever he was taking was probably um, prescribed. We well, he had like an ingrown yeah. toenail, so they gave him mercury. <laughs> this is a guy we should do a Peladonna. deep dive on soon. We and need just to find out all the details about <laughs> why he tri- he paints stuff like this. Why were you like this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm scared if we research too hard, it'll be a velvet buzzsaw situation. <laughs> he seems like that kind of dude. He does. Yeah. Have you seen vel- the velvet buzzsaw? No, I ain't seen that. You need to. You it's need good. to. You'll oh. like it. It's the most pretentious art people you can ever imagine all in one place. Not great things happen to them. So you, yes. you're okay with it. Just think of all the things that you hate about the art world. And it takes place in there. And then they get punished for it. Except Let's John Malkovich. He makes it out at the end. Spoiler alert. Yeah, way to ruin it. <laughs> well, you kind of forget he's in the movie till the yeah, end. Yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> I did forget he was in it. It's so. like, hey, what happened to... Oh, okay, <laughs> oh, there he's he goes. all right. He's good. There goes Johnny boy. What is uh, Ghost Dude holding here? Is it like a jelly bean? <laughs> <laughs> I miss <a> jelly bean. <laughs> That's it, right, lady. Just go with the flow. It's not only that, it's, but it's like a flipper arm holding the jelly bean. Yeah. The other flipper arms around uh, Sad Eve or whoever that's supposed to be. She's just real bummed out. She doesn't I, get the sa- same kind of joy out of sitting on top of a giant well, dragon snake. Yeah, I mean, look at the receding hairline. You'd be pretty sad, too. True. True. Man, Bosch's paintings are just so good, though. I know. Like, uh, like all the the fantastical elements combined with like, you know, the regular things like even just this bird over here, and like this hint of a tree in yeah. the top corner. They're so beautifully like rendered and just smooth and just. But then there's like all this trippy ass shit going on. Like I can't even tell if this is water down here or not, or like, what is it? What's going on? What's all this? Is this giant fucking marshmallows or <laughs> like just, a hill? Just beauty. That's what's going on. Yeah. Could you imagine we're reading totally into this and it was just like the Arby's of the time was just like, we need a new ad campaign for <laughs> new toasted marshmallows. What can you do for us, Bosh? Let me put this together. Crawley. You painted this for some restaurant in ancient <laughs> Rome. <laughs> Crawley's needed a new egg commercial. We need something to advertise our marshmallow mountain with an egg on top and three jelly beans for the first hundred people. What, what can you do? Regardless, it's a beautiful painting. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I got nothing bad to say about this one. Yeah. Or any of this guy's work. I Hieronymus mean, it, Bosch. Yeah. It's fun to try to figure it out, but it's confusing as fuck. Uh, is he... Uh, <laughs> what? Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, no. Got some baby dick in this one. Also, it seems like she's holding some kind of magnifying glass to make the baby dick bigger. Well, it uh-huh. looks like that thing that's in Salvatore Mundi. That, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a crystal ball. Thing. But yeah. I but feel like, why put it right next to his dick? Like, there could have been a better that, layout for this painting than that. Dude, that yeah. kid with the Popeye arms is like, yo, check out my shit. Yeah, the fucking baby <laughs> Jesuses are always ripped back in the day. <laughs> why is that? They're so swole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, beautifully done, but just not. When he's that ripped, I get less of peace and more of like, smell my fingers. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> no. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, f- I feel like I'm getting this condescending look from her. Like, I'm not looking at the baby dick, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I looked. She's yeah. like, ha, ha, you looked. Uh, I don't want to look. Do you think this is just like a troll from the artist? Because <laughs> obviously the church commissioned some shit like this, you know, because it's a religious painting. Who uh, who was this, do you know? The artist? Um, I'm going to butcher this, but Martin Van Hemkirk? Okay. But Martin is with M A E R T E N. And then Hemkirk is H E E M K E R C K. If it's the dude I'm thinking of, he usually does more like something between Durr and Bosch stuff. Yeah. Everything he else. Does, like I, weird flying demons. Everything else cool I found stuff. was not. What time period are we talking here? Not like baby around dick. the 1500s, too. Yeah. Okay. Everything else I found was not baby dick, but. It's hilarious. <laughs> so weird. I mean, he's doing a good job. He's yeah, it's a, definitely got some like weird bodybuilder shit going on, but but I mean, like, look, look at, the, at the detail in her dress. Yeah, and uh, right around the yeah. wrist, just the the floral in the. Yeah, it's awesome. There's so much detail and delicate in her hand. And, and then, then there's a fucking, fucking baby, baby dick. Baby. Hey, yo, what's and a up? Crystal ball. <laughs> Check out my D. Yo, it's a party later. <laughs> <laughs> I scored this molly from the city, not for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Who wants a bomb? <laughs> Call your girls. Call your girls. You know any girls? Call your girls. <laughs> Was the crystal ball like a thing that popped up a bunch back in the day like because like know. i didn't really see a lot of that personally until i saw that salvatore mundi painting yeah. but as we've Which researched I guess, more i guess they found recently they found a like a copy of that painting like a student copy of that so that kind of legitimizes it a little more as a da vinci might okay. be a student copy of a student copy maybe mm-hmm. yeah. maybe but as as we've researched it more it seems like they keep popping up more in paintings but it doesn't seem like the really yeah. famous ones are have it in there. I wonder what it was supposed to represent. Is that the Holy Ghost? This whole fucking time? It's been that bubble? She dick. asked me the other day. She asked me the other day, who's the Holy Ghost? You know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's fuck spirit, man. Or some shit. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> you know, we're already <laughs> praying to Jesus and God. Who's the Holy Ghost? Who's the Holy Ghost? No one talks about it. So if you know who the Holy Ghost is, comment below. Because... Yeah. We want to know. Is he that glass ball or she? We'll probably make fun of it next week, but we want to know. You want to know what I used to sleep over when I was six? (laughs) How they'd say, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And I'm like, yo, Grandpa, what's his fucking name, dude? (laughs) (laughs) They always say in the name of, or God know his name. God. I'm dying. God. Six years of this story and still no conclusion. (laughs) <laughs> Such a big book, no name It's pretty open-ended oh. Alright So to uh, Six yeah. Packs and Martin, uh, Whatever the fuck his I name think, is I uh, think bodybuilders refer to that as a Herculean physique <laughs> Fucking baby, man So uncomfortable oh. <laughs> oh. I have a- it's good to know that cats were even like a big thing back in those times. Yeah. This is actually newer. So oh, Lu- okay. Lewis Wayne painted this. It's called The Bachelor's Party uh, around 1939. All right. When was that painting of like the dogs playing poker? Oh, my God. Because that's what this reminds me of. Anywhere from the 1500s to like three <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a, you know, 19th, 20th century painting. This is the bachelor party. This is the bachelor party. Where are they? Nice. Are they at like a cat strip club? What's I would going think on? so. He looks Las pretty Vegas. excited. Yeah, I mean, this one looks uh, the guy in the middle here. He's know. seeing some titties right now. Doing some shots of milk. Yeah. He but is- the two on the right look very, like, not comfortable with whatever they're seeing. The one on the left, too. The one's got the, a monocle. That, that middle, yeah, a couple of them do. That Th- middle, they must be indoor cats. <laughs> that, that, middle cat, cats. that middle cat is seeing all six titties right I'm now. I'm not a yeah. simple yep. barn cat. I love that the one is just drinking cats up. I, not even alcohol. Cats up. Sure oh, it is. is. Wow, that's awesome. It's a nice little detail. I love them. 
So I feel like this is a liquor ad or something from so back in the day. So the two on the left hand side are smoking cigars. Yeah. The one on the right side, I can't even tell what it is. Like it's like he's <laughs> just smoking smoke just like a little smoking jewels. Yeah, he's just smoking like a little <laughs> joint, like a little baby, uh like a little roach. The Swiss are sweet. <laughs> yeah. Just so much excitement in these cats' eyes. This is just a hilarious painting. Looks hilarious like the monocle one is also holding a cigar, so maybe it's a cigar ad. I feel like I can see all nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did you drink, man? Uh, do we have a name for this artist? Lewis Wayne. Lewis Wayne. Lewis Wayne. W A I N. Born in 1860, he became famous for his anthropomorphic portrayals of cats. The OG cat memer. He was one of the most popular English illustrators of in course the ni- he was, 1920s. He <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I, I don't know how much their demand there was for cat portraits in the 1920s. Well, it doesn't seem like they were cat portraits. There were more. He was painting memes. He was painting memes yeah, for people. Yeah, exactly. And being like, huh, huh, huh? Remember when we were talking about this three weeks ago? Yeah. I painted So, it. yeah. <laughs> shout out to... Uh, I'm surprised I haven't seen this one in a meme yet. Shout out to the first meme maker. <laughs> Again, beautifully done, just... Yeah, it's great. Shock and amazement on these uh, cats. I assume this is what our cat does when we're not home. Throws cat stripper parties? No, just smokes cigars. <laughs> he doesn't shots like people. Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling ketchup uh, wrong. Cats up. Is that why our house always smells when we come home, just like burning? Isn't there yeah. a difference between ketchup and catsup, though? Catsup is supposed to be, I think, spicier. Wait, one of them's well, smooth. isn't one made with sugar and one's with salt or something? That that might be One's, it. like, sweet. I think catsup. I think they originally used a different vegetable, too. Like, catsup might have been squash, while ketchup was with tomatoes. Ketchup is high fructose corn syrup. I know that because I can't have it. Mm, delicious. So. <laughs> well, back in the day, I think it wasn't, though. Okay, well, it is now. Yeah. And I can't eat it, so fuck you guys. Heinz, 57 varieties. They they make a sugar-free one. I That's can have one that. of the 57. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Are you trying to get Heinz to sponsor this? Sponsor me, yo. Heinz, send me free stuff. That'd be hilarious if Heinz sponsored a <laughs> podcast. It'd have to be like a... Uh, eating competition podcast or something, you know, <laughs> or people or like just a, eat hot dogs for an hour straight. Just not like, even that. Yeah. May, maybe like an organic growth, like or, organic farmers podcast. The we love tomatoes podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we should start that and see if we can get them to sponsor us. It's a long shot. Yeah, yeah. an Too- organic farming podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> That's a very specific audience right there. <laughs> hey, so I tried that thing where you said put toothpaste in the ground. <laughs> that didn't do anything. But you listen to this? Whoa. <laughs> we give unqualified advice on multiple things. Yeah. You want right, to so. grow onions? Throw an onion on the ground and water it. Cheers to John Wayne or whatever the fuck his name was. John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> Madonna Wayne that Gacy. Guy. All right, what's next? Uh, uh, another kitty. Kitty meow. Pablo, I kind of want to hang out with this cat a little bit more. Pablo Picasso, <laughs> cat catching a bird. I was just going to uh, say, I felt like the dude who painted this was kind of fucked up. Yep, painted also in 1939. <laughs> 1939 is, was a crazy time for yeah, cats. Yeah. This is a cat that was hanging out in the back of the alley of that stripper club because they wouldn't actually <laughs> let him in. Yeah, he was like, like, hey, I don't know if you guys know back there, but we got a whole bunch of dead birds out back here. It's a great place to be. Do well, you, you see, he's a street cat, yeah. not an indoor cat. Hold on. Do you, do you think this was what was on stage while the other cats were watching? <laughs> and that's yeah, why they were so like, oh, oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Y'all ever see a junkyard cat put a dead bird up his butt? <laughs> You're about to. <laughs> Yeah, so. Gonna learn today. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna learn today. Yeah, Those I fucking eyes. hate this painting. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. That's why I had to include it. It's hilarious, though. Oh, I thought yeah. you. I really thought you'd love this one. Yeah, he really nailed the cat claw look there, or a paw. You know? What about the cat <laughs> butt crack? Why did he feel the need to put that in there, all the way up? Just 
can't fuck crack. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Oh, at least he didn't paint the butthole. I mean, that's thankful, right? That would be too lowbrow. Yeah. And just, if he did that, it would take too much time. How is this? Is very highbrow stuff we're looking at here, guys. <laughs> it is. So, Josh, tell us your actual real opinion. <laughs> of what? <laughs> I mean, I pretty much already said it. <laughs> Fucking hate this thing. It's horrendous. <laughs> He's not going to spend a lot of time on it's it. It's probably worth like eight billion dollars right now. It probably is. Yeah. At least a hundred million. And it's probably sitting in some shit museum somewhere. Or some really rich person's house and this is taking up one whole wall. Yeah. There's nothing else around but this fucking cat. I'm uh, convinced with the amount of work that Picasso put out, he was just painting things to try to impress ladies that came to his house. He's like, see, I'm a painter. You see me painting? <laughs> Well, on drink, they asked him. I feel like this was like a Thursday afternoon for him. You know, they, they asked him. They were like, "So, what's the deal with this?" And his response was, "The subject obsessed me. I don't know why." Okay. Yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> Fucking <Yeah>. weirdo. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least the color palette isn't like a bunch of bright, shitty colors. You know. It's like r- the the color palette's realistic, just the way it's rendered is not. I mean, if if you looked at that and I didn't tell you, hey, this is a cat catching a bird, what would you think this was? A Picasso cat catching a bird because <laughs> I've seen his trash before. Well, fine, not you. It looks like the cat has some kind of tribal mask on its face because it's so jacked. See, I feel like that looks more like a flying fish to me, personally. Weird yeah, piranha. Yeah, for the legs on there and the beak, I could see Like, that. The, the torn part looks more like a piranha mouth than... Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's got <laughs> teeth in there. Yeah. It's probably supposed to be like a bone or something, but... Who the fuck has time for anatomy, right? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have time for a fucking paw, obviously. No. Nope. It's just a couple of fucking logs with some claws <laughs> at the end. I have such beef with both Picasso and Hemingway because they were like best friends. Picasso would half-ass his paintings and Hemingway would spend too long writing about someone opening a car door. I'm like, can't the alcohol just balance out so you guys can make one fucking yeah, can't you just meet fully thought out thing? <laughs> <laughs> You're both wasting my time in different ways. Oh. But all right, enough of this crap. Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> all right, cheers, cheers to Picasso. Stinkasso. Stinkasso. <laughs> oh, yep, this one. <laughs> Bunch of friars disappointed in one drunk friar. Yeah. Where's he napping? Giuseppe Maristani. Uh, no, he's, no, he's no specific right. year, but the artist was alive from 1834 to 1895. And it's called The Drunken Monk. Yeah. Yep. I figured this went well with us because we've all been in that situation. How much money do you want to bet that this is on some, like, indie beer label somewhere? I mean, it, it should, should be. be. It's not. <laughs> you could go to probably Wegmans and find this painting on the side of a box. I feel like that was me last Tuesday. Well, no, we didn't record last Tuesday, so. Two weeks from now yeah. when I'm the DD. <laughs> on my birthday. On your birthday. <laughs> yep. Happy birthday two weeks from now. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. This is great, though. I love it. You can just yeah. hear that guy being like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like if Norman Rockwell painted drunk people. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I'll see, figure it out. See, what I imagine with this, because he's the drunk monk, is that that's the communion wine. And they were getting ready for morning prayer, and they were like, "Shit, he drank it all." <laughs> I would be that that monk though. If we I was, you know, back in this oh, time. Oh yeah, period, yeah. I'd be the one that's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go make sure the wine's ready," yeah. and then I'm just fucking fucking yeah. passed out <laughs> next to him. Like barrel. we sent him hey. three hours ago, <laughs> yeah. dude. Blood of Christ gets me fucked. <laughs> hey, did you need me to like change laundry or check <laughs> time in the basement? I'll be right back, and then like. <laughs> <laughs> you see us scurrying around. Hey, you guys. 
He just needs like a bag of combos as a pillow, and he'll be you, Brandon. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> don't don't bring that up. What? Don't bring. I've never slept on a bag of combos. You're the only person I've ever seen to sleep <laughs> on a bag of chips. <laughs> I'll give you that. A half-eaten bag of chips. It wasn't even like fluffy. Oh no! I fuck you. I fluffed it before. Yeah, like I shook it out, fluffed it up, put it behind my head, and passed out right in the middle of the floor. And Lance. by the middle of the floor, I mean the middle of the art gallery. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> so if anyone has any art shows coming up, I'd love to attend. That's not a thing anymore. At least no. not for now. Good point. You should probably shouldn't invite me. But you could probably zoom in on art shows and do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just snore through zoom it. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, that's Bam. He just likes to sleep in the corner. <laughs> I like this painting, though. This is awesome. <laughs> what a fucking Terry. Just being like, <laughs> you see, I, I'm telling you, every time you leave him alone, he goes off and gets drunk by himself. Yeah, this one guy's yeah, bitching. Like, <laughs> he's like, every time I come down here on Tuesday morning, he's drinking out by himself. He's just drinking out of community mind. And the guy's like, I know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You better figure it out soon. I like it. <laughs> I love that the guy he's bitching to is the only one with a halo. Like, yeah, I'm gonna deal with this shit every day. Oh god! Oh, it looks like he's got like a little cap on, you know, a little fryer cap. Oh, a little fryer cap. Not, not quite a yarmulke, but almost close the, enough. A big yarmulke. You know, Catholicism. They like to cheat off of other religions. <laughs> Some kind of SATs that they, they didn't do. prep for. Shout out to religion. <laughs> Shout out to religion. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. Shit. I love this. It's just such a super detailed scene. Of just nothing. Find. Yeah. Of just like the random of party drunk. I think the, the only random thing that would make it downtown. better is him trying to f- like eat bread to soak up the wine that's supposed to be the communion <laughs> bread and just falling asleep with it hanging out of his mouth. Yeah. He's just eating the body of Christ to try and soak up the booze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his cheeks are obviously super red because he's fucking hammered. <laughs> I like the little details like that, though, like the fucking wine spilling on the, the cloth here. Yeah. It's great. Hey, don't wake me. <laughs> the tipped over uh, little cup at the side there. Yeah, it's not, passed out. It's mid-trick. not time for mass yet. Don't wake me. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. And this guy's already hammered like this. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I was raised Catholic, of course, because Italian Puerto Rican, they'll kick me out. If not, um, we had a priest and his name was Father Bob. <laughs> And Father he was Bob. about the same size as that dude that passed out there. <laughs> and any time they had their like, little moment of silence of prayer, it always lasted an indeterminate amount of time because sometimes he'd fall asleep. <laughs> 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 We'd be there for five minutes like, this has been going on for a while. And then he'd just be like, hey. rise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father All Bob. Right. So what was this guy's name again? Artist? Oh, I already forgot. Oh. <laughs> Giuseppe, Giuseppe I mean, Maristani. Okay, this cool. one goes out to religion and day drinking. And Giuseppe, whatever the fuck his name is. Who day drinks? I thought it was Giovanni because I knew it was a This guy life. day drinks for sure. Oh, yeah. Adrian Brower, the bitter drunk. Yep. Circa 1630. No! <laughs> I one of those guys that you see at the bar and you're just like, I'm going to stay the fuck away from this dude. You could just hear it being like, hey. Yeah. yeah. that That's the guy they're calling the ambulance on like 15 minutes before last call. He's the kind of guy you run into a bar and you can't tell if he's drunk or cogni. You know? Yeah. That's what I, was, I can't help but not hear this guy being like, oh, I, I, fuck off. This is your dumb cunt. <laughs> I mean, it'd probably be awesome to be at the other end of the bar and just observe his interactions with people. Dude, I want to party. I wouldn't want to interact with him. I want to party with this guy. I wouldn't want to party with him. I'll yeah. watch I would want to be at a party that he's at that I can leave. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's fair. my house. Yeah. I love I, the fact that he's holding like a coaster in his hand, though. So he's you know, drunk, but he's still cordial. I would, inv- I would invite this guy over to Reggie's house, <laughs> watch from a distance, and then leave. <laughs> you know, it's not going to end well with this guy, no matter where he's at. No. He was my favorite. 
<laughs> I think we've all known a guy like this at one point in time, right? Have we have so show of hands, have we all been this guy at some point? I don't think I've ever been this guy, but I mean I've been pretty drunk, so I don't know. Have have I ever been this guy? No. No. In all the times you've known me, drunk. You're not I mean you get really drunk. hammered, but you don't fucking scream at people indiscriminately <laughs> no. like I'm assuming this guy does. You don't scream at people, but you forget how loud your voice is, if that makes sense. There was a time that I did put As do most drunk people, so. Yeah. There was a time in downtown Binghamton that at like 5 in the morning I drank a 30 rack over the course of like midnight to 6 a.m. And then I found a child's t-shirt <laughs> at Walmart that said t- swag 24-7. And but he... And, and it only came down to about here on me. And he wasn't so, wearing a belt with his pants, so there was like... Belly just, and dick cleavage. Just dick cleavage. Yeah. So I, so <laughs> I, I, was had, I had one last beer. Let me just say, I'm really glad I didn't know you at this point. Oh, no, you knew me. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm yeah. really glad I wasn't there. Yeah. So it was like 630 in the morning. We're in downtown, and I'm standing up front of the art gallery, and I'm finishing the last of the 30 rack, and a dude on a bike comes riding by, and I was like, hey, honey. Oh, no, you said like, hey, big boy. And yeah, yeah, hey, big boy, something. something like that. And he ended up just crashing into something <laughs> and flipped over the handlebars. He's probably like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it, if you Google it, you probably will actually find photos of this somewhere. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I think thanks. it's on Facebook somewhere. It's on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. But you're still not this guy. I'm not this guy. This guy's yelling about his soccer team losing and it's not even football season. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to murder a guy. Dude, I, get another I love this guy, though. I love him so much. Do you think he's angry because of that haircut? Because I'd be angry about that haircut, too. <laughs> <laughs> the haircut and the, Oi! the, the little hat. <laughs> Boy! Hey! <laughs> Who the fuck stole me this shit weed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly How right. in the fuck am I going to get stoned laid off this shit? <laughs> I feel like it's not even weed. He's holding a little mirror like he's going to snort something off of it. <laughs> you think someone I gave think him a white claw? I think that's just a cup. Uh, okay. And he's got like a vial of mercury or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even drinking. He's just... Oh, this guy. Oi! Oi! <laughs> Oh, look, the Reggie has arrived. <laughs> oh, <boy! laughs> oh, To this guy. Yeah. Shout to out to guy. the bitter drunk. You want to hear a shitty part? Where's the party artist story? again? Well, yeah. Uh, Adrian ba- Brower. I'm probably butchering We've that. looked at his stuff before, right? A-D-R-I-A-E-N-B-R-O-U-W-E-R. Okay. I didn't so, retain any of this that. Guy up. I'll tell no. you that. In case you're curi- curious, curious, <laughs> curious, uh, so party story. What was this? Oh, yeah. You want to hear me get into that fucking effect? Oh, yeah. So, I just I just uh, aired my dirty laundry. So there was this one time probably being around maybe like 21 or 22 house party, a bunch of beers and shit. All of a sudden, this girl I kind of have a crush on. Yeah. All of a sudden, this girl I kind of have a crush on shows up. And she's with a bunch of a bunch of chicks. There happens to be a, another dude with them. And later on in the night, this guy's like, "Hey, are you Reggie?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Robin really wants to fuck you." And I'm like, "Oh <laughs> shit!" So I'm like, "I got this in the bag." So I start chugging beers. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I don't know why. I was like, "Yeah, tonight that it's gonna be well. fucking awesome." But I got to the point. For some reason, I got the type of drunk that I was just going like, "Oi, which one of you dumb cunts want to punch me in the face?" <laughs> <laughs> totally fucking ruined so, it for yourself. Yeah, didn't totally. You? So I end up pat. Probably throwing up in their yard and pressing out alone <laughs> before it's even like late. Like I just went off the deep end like by like nine thirty. So by say, like ten thirty, I'm just. <laughs> it's like 8.45. People are still like showing up to the party because it's only like, like 10 bucks this guy? Like, who, who the, what the fuck happened to him? They're like, you he already missed it. It's only like 10 o'clock, but the party is already left. It's 8.45 and you're just on the couch drooling out of yourself. Yeah. Just, oh. Sounds like you shot yourself in the foot. I totally one. did because I think I woke up the next day and heard she hooked up with somebody else in my dude's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. 
Uh, you started the night as the bitter idiot. drunk and ended as the monk. Yeah. <laughs> or the time. Well, if she had a like option B ready to go, then you didn't want that anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. Not a, but I was. I, I wanted it. I was way, I was twenty two. I was ready to wave my dick in the wind. I didn't care. I expected it to end with like I woke up and that's the day she left to go abroad. Yeah. I never saw her again. Yeah. Or that's the day I had to go to the free clinic. <laughs> or the fucking ending of like can't hardly wait. But if we go to the same college, maybe we can go together. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried to fight someone drunk other than a deer, so. Do you hit me or is your mom trying to tell me a secret? <laughs> <laughs> no, but one time we did go to Parade Day in downtown Binghamton. Oh. I started to get drunk, got slightly tipsy, sober. and then she tried to fight, fist fight somebody, and um, I had to drive her home. That's very not in character for you. I can't be around that many drunk BU people. It's just... She tried to fist fight like a 19 year old girl. There was a girl that's trying to talk to my, her friend behind her and just yelling in my face like this close to talk to the person. Well, yeah, I would. So after that like face 10 minutes Head of butt. that, I went into finally made it into Dillinger's and this dude like was so drunk. He kept like bumping into me and almost knocked me down the stairs three times. I was like, Brandon, get me out of here. I'm going to fight somebody. He's like, well, I'm like, I'm going to fucking fight somebody. As I'm staying there <laughs> triple fisting beers because <laughs> there's so many people I was ordering three at a time. Yeah. Sounds like State Street, Binghamton. Yeah, that was the one and only time we went to uh, Parade Day. Yeah. Ugh. It turns out I love St. Patrick's Day. I don't Not like people. People. <laughs> uh, one time I had a roommate host a parade day party at my house at 11 in the morning, so I woke up, funneled some beer, and they all left and went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should do a parade day party, but just not go. Yeah, just... <laughs> Day drink. That's just not awesome. going to be a thing though this year. Like, oh, yeah, they, yeah, had, they had it last year though, right? Like, and that was right before yeah. COVID. It was like, like a week hit. before. Yeah. yeah. Basically, all we have to do so, is get some pictures and green dye. Yeah, my my birthday is March first. It's usually that weekend. Okay. Yeah. For people who don't know, parade day is a bullshit thing they do in Binghamton every year. Instead I, of St. Patrick's yeah. Day. I, is that a college town thing? I, I think feel so. like there's some other college. Yeah, I, I think so. Possibly. Yeah. So it's just basically like two. let's let's celebrate, but everybody who lives day. here around that time is just like yeah, let's just not go to work that day. Let's just avoid that whole area. People. And then there was the one time that we were driving and we were trying to drive through downtown Binghamton late that at night. That wasn't parade day. That was bar crawl, and it was during bar the daytime. Crawl. Yes. Uh, okay. And uh, she watched a girl who th- thought she was in the bushes but was about six feet away from an actual bush. On a street corner. Just full spread eagle squat and just peeing. Uh, While her friend was just just like holding her upright. And I'm just like... I've seen a girl get get arrested in downtown Binghamton because of that before, though. (laughs) Yeah. Like, (laughs) she's waiting in line to get into a club Dude, we might have have both been driving by at the same time. No, this is on State Street because, like, there was, like, a line to get into, like, fucking... Boca Joe's or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, this girl oh, just pisses in the dating. street, and then a cop comes over and arrests her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's like, you're done, lady. I, th- I feel like this St. Patrick's Day, after the year we had, we just need to do some ratchet shit. But, like, just the four I'm of us. I'm not going to do any of that. No, I'm saying just the four of us just do stupid drunk shit, but. Who likes Irish coffees? With it's the four of us. Irish it's classy because you, you drink it out of Let's a step it up a notch and get some cup, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not and say we did. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. All right, shout out to the angry drunk. Here's Better another drink. drunk guy. Yeah. Throw him over the bridge and just walk <laughs> away. <laughs> this is called Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. This is, <laughs> what it looks like. this is the Drunken Mason, 1786, and it's actually by Francisco de Goya. I oh, legit cool. thought this was something from like the 80s. Well, it looks like most of the, uh, you know, high Renaissance painters painted drunk guys. Yeah. 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 It's good to know times haven't changed that much. Yo, fuck this guy. Let's just throw him over the bridge. It'll be funny. He'll wake up at the bottom of the hill with a broken (laughs) back. (laughs) (laughs) What's the worst that happens? 
It's good to know that white dudes have already been fucking urban each other out like that. Yeah. It's like, yo, let's duct tape Kyle to the roof and then draw it on the markers. (laughs) What's the worst that happens? You think that's like a 20th century thing, but it's not. They've been doing that for hundreds of years. (laughs) Yo, put dog food in his pants and then the dogs are going to lick his balls all night. (laughs) (laughs) They come back, a bear is eating the bottom half of their friends. Yeah. (laughs) He has no legs. <laughs> oh, oh man! Yeah, good one, guys. I well, don't have half a leg anymore, but that was a good one, dude. Look at this. You my, got me so good. My dick got chewed off, but I'm good. Look at the shit eating grins on these guys' faces, though. Like they're having. That's so exactly much what's going on, you know. <laughs> I feel like it's you guys throwing me off the Susquehanna. I love the fact that their drunk friend also lost his pants. He lost his pants. Yeah, he has no pants. That's what I said. I feel like it's those two throwing me off. Uh, in the Susquehanna. Oh, so you get to go in the Susquehanna, but I can't have a Viking funeral <laughs> in the Susquehanna? What kind of bullshit is that? I don't want to go in the Susquehanna. Who wants to go in the Susquehanna? <laughs> when she dies, she wants me to throw her a Viking funeral down the Susquehanna. Well, it doesn't have to be the Susquehanna, but I mean, it's the nearest body of water. <laughs> You can find. I'll take you back option. to Hancock, and we'll go to the Delaware. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's. It might be a little less flammable down there. There's a lot less that tires works. in that one. <laughs> and feet, human feet, <laughs> or dead bodies, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you could picture anything. Has anyone it's probably in the Susquehanna? Has right anyone now. ever seen or caught a dead body in the Susquehanna? Like of the the group of us? No. No. Well, I had been fishing at a couple spots there where, like, a few days later, a dead body <laughs> turned up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so, a pretty common thing. So yeah. in, in college, we were in uh, the Roberson, which is under one of the bridges on the Susquehanna, Shenango River. Uh-huh. And about six miles upriver near the Otsunango, also on the Shenango River. That's where it meets, right? Yep. There was a dude who... W- so Roberson is where it meets uh, Shenango and Susquehanna. There was a dude who... Uh, gave a slow speed chase all the way through downtown Binghamton and then was like going all over. And then he ended up near Otsuningo Park, got on the bridge there, parked the car, got out and jumped. And then they were looking for him. So the following day, we, dude, like the Susquehanna is like three feet deep. And this is the Shenango, which is even even less. It's like yeah. 18 inches, maybe. Yeah, and that guy died. So <laughs> so the next day we were like, hey, we were in class and in college at Roberson and I'm like, yo, we should go under the bridge and where all the kids smoke pot and we should see if, uh, see if we find a dead body. So we go and we're like looking and everything, nothing floats up and everything. Cause it's only like a mile down the river and everything. So we, we go back to class and stuff and like six months goes by and I'm watching the news and the news pops up and they're like, yeah, his body floated up under that bridge. I'm like, oh, Man, I missed See, it. The thing that God, I, I wanted to be the one to find him. The most about the Susquehanna, like you hear stories about in San Francisco, people finding shoes with feet in it because people jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. When they find them in the Susquehanna, I'm like, there's no bridge that's, that's that tall. Yeah. They're just like, oh, it's a foot. Gross. And throw <laughs> it behind them. It's like, where's the rest of this person? And why aren't you concerned? Also, there's no shoe. Like they've found multiple feet just in the Susquehanna. Yeah, it's cool. Great. <laughs> Ashley, Ashy Larry. I'm going <laughs> to come into your house at night and cut off your foot and then throw it in the river. <laughs> Basically, we have a weird serial killer in Brim County and no one cares. No one it's cares. called the Susquehanna River. <laughs> the Susky Killer. Hmm. But anyway, Tagoya. <laughs> Tagoya. We're on all sorts Yo, of tangents Bagoya. tonight. <laughs> Yo, Bagoya. Yo, Bagoya. Oh, there goes another monk. This another drunk happier. friar. Do you think this is like the beginning of the night? This is. Uh, He's a few, uh, Antonio, a few beers deep here. Antonio sure. Casanova y Estorache, 1886, and it's titled Monk Testing Wine. Got to make sure it's good. He's testing it with his liver. He's really happy about it. Is that a tiny <laughs> fire hydrant next to his foot? It is. What is that? It is. No, it's got to be like a lantern or something. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in like the, the basement. Just making sure everything's good. <laughs> Just 
got to check this shit out. I thought this and would be like, like Friar 18... Tuck from Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. I'm trying to read the barrels. 1811 or 1877? Yeah, 1811. Damn, that's a them. real old one then. Yeah. He's getting drunk so off the man, good this stuff. this shit's real fucking good. You guys should try it. <laughs> <laughs> Age 75 years at that point. Oh. Dude, 75-year-old scotch? Whew. I've had like... 12 year old scotch and I'm like on the floor that's why they're really good at talking to Jesus thank that you Jesus right there. thank you Jesus for bringing me 75 year old scotch it's another great painting though it's beautiful. I, I love that people have been painting drunk people for hundreds of I years know. <laughs> it's great <laughs> I know I went down a rabbit hole today of finding drunk paintings Basically, this was just Instagram of the olden days. Just people taking pictures of their food <laughs> and drunk people. And there's that one lady who had her favorite boob, so she would get portraits of herself with her one boob out. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So people Basically haven't Instagram. changed much nope. in 500 years. Nope. What, did she think it was like Reddit or something? Just titty? She titty had, pop. It was Reddit before Reddit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just titty pop. She had, like, specially made clothing for <clears> it. <throat> <laughs> Very strange. Now it's called, like, a, a breastfeeding bra. But Yeah, she wasn't breastfeeding anyone. She, <laughs> people to she was just <laughs> using it to flash a little. She wasn't even pulling it down. She made had her clothes made that way. Nice. Yeah. I like how minimal the use of color in this painting is. Yeah. It's very much like almost like an underpainting, but... Except yeah. for his like face and hands. And, and the, the, the actual wine itself. Or bourbon or whatever it is. Yeah, Mercury. but it's still very limited. It's great. Beautifully done. Yeah. Just ridiculous that it's a drunk guy. A drunk religious guy. I love it. If you ever wonder what your offering plate things go to, it's 1811 <laughs> scotch. <laughs> so this guy here can get lit all the time. So Father Bob can take naps during quiet time. Let's get crunked at church. I really wish I could see what's on that label because you know he probably took the time to actually write something on that label, on that barrel. The one next to his hand? Yeah. Yeah, it's barely English. If well, you fucking touch this, <laughs> and I'm not around. i squish your eyeballs in when you fucking go to sleep. Are you talking about like the little fucking the little post-it tag, note yeah. on yeah. there? Yeah. That just is like, thank you, Jesus, for my happy juice. Well, I mean, it looks like the little graphic on there is a shooting star. Above the 1811, so it must be some really good shit. <laughs> it's moonshine. That is, yeah, I didn't realize that. Some wormwood in there. He's starting to trip Ooh, balls. Dude, yeah. Uh, that, go get the organ player to play Inigata to be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's just actually liquid PCP, just in its early form. <laughs> I love it. I love this painting so much. It's pretty good. If I owned a bar, I'd want this. At the I, bar. Yeah, I would, you know? yeah. Early Masti Just Huba. several paintings like this of people getting fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Early Masti Huba. Yeah. I love my Masti painting. It's pretty cool. You gotta find a spot to hang it. Yeah. Another local. Local legend in downtown Binghamton, Masti Huba. Have you ever heard of him? I, I recognize that name. If you, uh, so. he'll shovel your driveway if you give him a beer, like pay for his beer tap. No, 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 no. Two, and then two he never, shots. Or two it was shots. two shots. And so then he was, never actually fucking shovels her driveway. He well, just moves no. in the next bar and does the same thing. The deal was he'd come <laughs> in and be like, hey, two shots to shovel your shovel out front. One shot now, one shot when I'm done. They'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Give him the shot and he'd just leave. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Masti Huba. The name right. means dirty mouth. In Ukrainian, yeah. In Ukrainian, yeah. Nice scam artist. I like it. He was a friend of my great-grandfather. And the yeah. thing is, we don't have that many bars on Clinton Street. So he would just do oh, the no, same no, no. thing the next weekend. At the at the time, there was 
39 bars. But enough that he'd make it through in probably a weekend. Yeah. He would he would easily do like probably all 39 bars shots in a weekend, yeah. Shout out to Masti Huba. And shout out to whoever painted this. What's his name again? Uh, my phone locked. Another Italian name. Just do this. It's close enough. I can't open my phone. Antonio Giovanni Ribisi. Yes. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Antonio. We'll just call him Antonio. He's like, <laughs> yeah, can't the, get my This phone Italian locked. guy that painted a drunk guy. Yeah. Drunks. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yep. Then there's. <laughs> If you ever had questions where babies come from, we got you covered. Yeah, look how horrified the girl on the end is there. <laughs> She's seen some shit. She's like, what the fuck is actually happening? So, funny <laughs> enough, this is the only one I couldn't find any credits for, or any information Well, this on. looks like a shitty drawing that was in a Bible or some shit. Yeah, these yeah. are one of those. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Oi, are all of you over there playing chess? I'm going <laughs> to sit on the side and put my finger <laughs> in me bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably the same artist. <laughs> Dear God, why is that fully grown child just being <laughs> pulled out of a yeah, black like hole a, in that person's stomach? It's like a fucking eight year old <laughs> right there, just getting dragged out of this bitch. Also, what's going on with her chest? Like, what? What is that? What side is that? pit. It's what's going on with the fucking pattern like on the, the drapery because it's, it's, it's side, super distracting. It's side. Yeah. Tit. I'm glad it's distracting. It's side tit and front boob at the same time. Who needs perspective? Like the person pulling the child out, averting their eyes. They're like, I don't want to look at this. Yeah. I don't want to look at this. And the person, I don't know, washing that lady's feet is just like, I'll, I'll never be the same. Who, yeah. who washes feet during a C-section? I mean, I wouldn't want to look at that either. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a C-section. It looks like a fucking portal emerged in this woman's <laughs> stomach. Yeah. <laughs> and a fully grown child just fucking lifted out. It's like some of those old <laughs> witchcraft misconceptions. <laughs> like, I know. You won't get pregnant by doing butt stuff, but a portal <laughs> will open up from your stomachs and lead it straight into hell and you pull out an 18-year-old baby. <laughs> what? A portal Jesus. opened up with a 13-year-old just popped out. Yeah. And the, the lady on the side. The, apart. the lady on the side is being like, I thought that was a myth about butt stuff. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta play it out my next nine months. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> hey, Mom. How's it going? Shit, it talks already? Oh, or the old, I brought you into this world, I can take you out. I can put you into the parallax dimension that exists <laughs> within my uterus. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like the uh, the lady who's giving birth here is dead. Yeah, yeah it this might, be, might a be a posthumous C-section oh. illustration. Oh. But it's okay. The baby survived and is a member of the Bee Gees. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> That's what the song Stay Alive is about. I don't want nobody, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we're horrible people. More than oh, too woman. soon. <laughs> too soon. More than no. a woman to me. <laughs> A yeah, they don't. They don't want to look at that. They're like, I thought those were just rumors, but apparently that is real. A I kind of a thirteen-year-old BG ripped from a dead mother. Yeah, that's a little too soon. <laughs> I hope that someone going for their masters in art is trying to find information for their dissertation and stumbles across our architects. Are yeah, yeah, looking for some genuine information and just sees this bullshit. Art damaged. They sound like they know something. <laughs> I wonder I'm, how long this is going to live on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's In a restoration channel. <laughs> nope, we're no bomb ga- bomb governor. Two thousand years from now, we're still listened to. Oh dear I just God! Love how and then we'll finally like, have more than fifty-five <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> I see nothing. Wait, wait, hold on, <laughs> hold, 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 hold on, hold on. We're up to fifty-five. Yeah. Oh, we have fifty-five oh, subscribers. Yeah, fuck dude. yeah, guys! Woo! <laughs> Hey, thanks. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, subscribe, and share, motherfucker. If we'll we pull get to a hundred subscribers, you. <laughs> if we get to a hundred subscribers, we'll be able we'll to give pick a, a custom URL. Package. 
Well, what? We'll, we'll send you a, a custom mystery yeah, package. That, that's a, yeah. It, if we get to 100 subscribers, I will personally mail you something. Yeah. Might be cheering me <laughs> off my ball, fro, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I said something. <laughs> well, nobody's going to see it because I don't watch this far into the video most of the time. But oh, those who man. do. Those who do. We're going to be pretty some, excited. You can win some pubes from Reggie's ball, fro. <laughs> No, I'm the one mailing <laughs> shit. It's mine. Stay tuned for the entire episode. <laughs> if you can answer these questions correctly at the end, you can win a free subscription package. It's Reggie shaving my ball pubes and mailing them out. I see nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we went really off the rails tonight, didn't we? Hey, we're not done yet. There's more to go. So oh. why don't we cheers to whoever is there? this fucking atrocity? <laughs> I'm the one who cheers <laughs> to interdimensional babies. So I'm the one who. This put is the how f- shape shifting reptiles are born <laughs> into our universe. See what it actually means. This lady might be have a royal bloodline. Royal bloodlines are actually close within themselves because when they actually so get <laughs> the genes really close, that makes it easier for the reptilian draconian race. Been listening to Alex Jones. Alex so, Jones. So before you this move on, smells so bad. Before you move on, I actually put the, together this episode and i'm not sure what comes next because i thought this was it oh oh oh, i forgot about this this. guy wolf boy yeah oh yeah isn't the wrestler the mexican wolf children no this is actually a family of them this is actually the prequel the teen wolf right here (laughs) so michael j fox this is lavinia fontana's portrait of Antonetta Gonzalez, also known as just Gonzalez, uh, circa 1595. Well, it's a Spanish name, so I wonder, because it's also a Spanish family, I wonder if they're related, the the wolf wolf boys. I wonder if it's just like a genetic abnormality. It's Back actually talked. It's actually talked about. They think it might have been the Interesting. the genetic abnormality. So it's not like a boy. fantasy kind of painting. It's more like nope. They think it's actually a portrait just, of somebody with. It could actually be real. Yeah. Up yeah, they think it's just straight up a real. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I That's feel what, like if you had this much hair on your face, though, you'd have some on like protruding out of your sleeves a little bit. You know, under your hands. Well, the wolf boy, for my understanding, is not covered in fur yeah, everywhere it's, on, like, his yeah, face, it's right? just okay. straight up face yeah it's like he has it up until his eyeballs and that's that's it like he's got the normal amount just chest hair a little bit of arms hair what's the letter say that's what i want to know because you know they took the time to write something out probably in spanish what's that eminem song well, dear Stan. Dear Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on rhyming, but I know you ain't called. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pro- that's probably what the song, that's probably what it is. Yeah. This is where he got the inspiration for Dear Stan. For Dear Stan. He saw this and was just like, yeah, yeah. What's going on with the head, though? Is that like some kind of headdress or something? I think so. It's hard to tell because it looks like it's pretty deteriorated. Yeah, it's a little. I wonder if it's supposed to be like a crown or something. A little beat up at this point. There's a, what's that coming out of the left side though? Is that somebody's signature or no? That looks shooting like star some kind of uh, like maybe there's like a headdress or some kind of thing. Pearl necklace. That it's wearing. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> what's that thing called? Like the collar. A millstone collar. Okay. I don't know, but I have one tattooed on my arm, so I should That's probably figure good. that out. Or Elizabethan collar? Yes. Millstone, yeah. So the thing around the head, who knows? It's very dark. Like the background. I feel like garb at that time had to be miserable because you know it weighed 50 pounds. (laughs) You had three corsets (laughs) and you couldn't move your neck. Yeah. Beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. Just... It's weird. Cool. Just weird. Who painted this? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Lavinia Fontana. Port- butchering the name again, probably. Okay. But portrait of Antoni- Antonietta Gonzalez. 1595. 
back in 95. <laughs> back in 90, 95 when I drove my Ford Pinto. It's pretty cool, though. I like it. 95, I think, was a good year. I mean, X-Files. <laughs> this kid. I got rollerblades for my birthday. And it's about what I'm... That was peak rollerblade, though. 95. Wait, nope. 96 is when I got the rollerblades. Never mind. Ugh, idiot. Double That's a year after a rollerblades were cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were just a fruit booter after that. <laughs> I was just a douche. <laughs> fruit booter. <laughs> Hey, don't make fun of me. I still wear those. I wear them around my apartment. Okay, I mean, so just skating around. So what's the room count? Do you think this is a real guy? Did he actually come up with yeah, the, I think so. the great, I think so. great, great grandparent? I'm yeah, going to say it's a real guy. I think this is real. Like if there was a carnival. Back Could you then? imagine how fucked with that guy would be in like the 1500s? They back when they thought anything they didn't like was a witch? Yeah. Imagine just the guy What's like with Wolf Boy? Here. This guy's clearly a spawn of Satan. Yeah. He All of a sudden, that drunk like... guy just kicks down the door. Oi! The fuck is <laughs> that with your face? The fuck is that? <laughs> Somebody kill this fucking wolf man! But the then thing again, is, he, he probably... fucked this thing after he got really <laughs> drunk at the bar. It's true. <laughs> That's why he's so upset. <laughs> Oi! I sucked Wolf Boy's dick! <laughs> ah, fuck! I, 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 I didn't think he was real. I was about to say, <sighs> maybe it. male or female. Nah, no. yeah, nah. I tried to go down there and see what coin of bits he had, and I ended up sucking a dick. <laughs> ah, fuck. Might have just been an oversized. I like how he has an Australian accent in the 1500s. <laughs> <laughs> Drunkard? Of course he does. Drunk yeah. guy? Oi! Fuck! Nah, yeah, nah. Tried to go down there to see if it was actually just some hairy Sheila. Think it'd probably be pretty easy to get in there. But fuck, he had a dick. Oh, <laughs> what was I gonna do? Not suck it? That'd be fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Since we're on the topic, do you think Chewbacca has like a dog style red rocket or like a real dick? <laughs> That's a question I never thought I'd be asked in my entire life, but... I never thought of that. I feel, I feel like you've thought about this a lot. <laughs> you're trying to fall asleep at 3 in the morning, and then all of a sudden you're just like... <laughs> Wait oh, God! Wait, would you I have a red rocket? <laughs> Oh, they conveniently fuck. leave that out of the whole Star yeah. Wars canon. I don't know. Right? Fucking George Lucas stopped answering my emails, so. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a question to ask our sponsor. <laughs> or do you think the tip just looks like Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So to a Wolf Boy. I feel like yeah. there's a lightsaber a joke boy. in there, but I'm not going to go for it. <laughs> Cheers to Wolf Boy. Red lightsaber. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that's all we got for today. That was fun. This was, uh, this was an interesting Yay. one. To classical drunks. Yes. And us getting drunk. It seems that I mean, some things never change. Some things never change. Who else is drunk? Working on it. All right. <laughs> Chocolate wasted? I don't know. Right. We should put, we save a picture of that one fucking I, asshole. Oi! That guy. <laughs> and I'll just tell his stupid story about my 20s with that fucking picture <laughs> in the background. I, I, I just want to that for like a 10 minutes of fluff before we get rolling and start putting them up as separate bits. <laughs> I, I pre gamed like. Way did, before did you guys it? did, so yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said that on air. Delete that. Fuck. Yeah, we need to delete that. I'm embarrassed. If we beep it out, it's just going to sound like you have some weird medical issue. Yeah, we need to cut that. Okay. I'll just make fart noises on a different audio track. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on top. <laughs> No, he just replaces it with you saying red rocket. <laughs> he had a red rocket. <laughs> well, I think that does it for today. What are we going to talk about next? 
Red are Rockets. We, oh, no. <laughs> are I we, keep finding really cool stuff, but then I read it, and I'm like, wow, this is depressing as fuck. I'm not going to read it to a bunch of drunk dudes. I think we should uh, see what's going on with Hieronymus Bosch. That'd be a good yeah. one. Yeah, it would. You want to spearhead that one? Not really, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'll look into it a little bit. All right. There's a fun art forgery one I found with two Giovannis. I mean, it's not one Giovanni pretending to be another Giovanni. They're just, unfortunately, both have the name Giovanni. It's Black History Month. Are there any art? Oh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. I was about to say, I want to do a Basquiat one. So Cool. I just got to do that one up for for the end of the month. I just got a book on that. And I've been watching a couple of documentaries about them recently. Cool. That'd be a good one. I watched a documentary. It was like the uncovered footage that... Basically, his friends were shooting during the whole, like, while he was painting and shit. So, cool. yeah. It's a cool one. Okay. And for my book report on Black History Month, I will write an essay about Hank Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, who's the dude's peace. name who made peanut butter? Oh, he did just pass away. Yeah, rest, yeah. In, rest in peace. Hey, you know I who totally else did passed away? Grade. Dustin Diamond. Diamond in the Rough. Diamond in the Rough. Yeah. Who a, a beer named after Josh Ruff. Yeah. With his photo on it. Yeah, me high fiving Dustin Diamond. Yeah, we need a yeah. cheer each. And shout out to uh GameStop. Yeah. Game stonks. Game stonks. Game stonks. Because <laughs> they keep yelling like diamond. What's hands? the next company that's gonna be sold like crazy mm-hmm. like that? No. Um AMC's working AMC. on it right now. Yeah, AMC's working on it. Are they doing a short squeeze on AMC stocks? They're trying, yeah. but uh so the hedge should funds I sign up for like e trade like tonight. Give it we'll, a day we'll, or we'll two. We'll talk about it. No, we'll we'll talk about it off air. Yeah. I saw a hilarious video on Reddit the other day about um it was this dude basically picking on this the the guys who own Robin Hood, the yeah. trading thing. It's like, oh, like this is great. We got, you know, not rich people buying these stocks to fuck over rich people. Yeah. How are we going to position ourselves with this? We're going to be like, oh, fuck those people. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop trading GameStop. Cash App did that today again. How can you name it your wasn't... fucking app Robin Hood and then be yeah, mad when people do some be... Robin Hood ass yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> Shout out to Wall Street Bets. Do you remember Ooh. that scene from fucking... Um, old school where it's like you know for being a bunch of idiots these guys are surprisingly good at paperwork <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like fucking like just these reddit guys figuring that shit out like all these you fucking millionaires like ah fuck they're stupid as shit but they're fucking persistent yeah Game's i just nonsense. think it's hilarious that like those rules just like they're pushing for regulation now and they never push for regulation. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of that, I should little, tell only when they get fucked yeah, over. Yeah, the little guy wins but then once. They, there's also like after hours trading that they can do when the public can't see so they can either kind drive of. prices yeah. up or down. And That's you know, what I'm checking on my stocks morning. right now. Market manipulation. Yep. Yeah. I'm, oh. D- I don't want to know. By the way, we are not financial advisors, so we're don't not. listen to us. Yeah, don't, don't listen to me. I could pretend to be a financial advisor because... <laughs> Have like, you hey, thought it? Put all your money into pork bellies. I learned that from um, give me all your money and I'll Eddie see what Murphy happens. back in don't, the day. Don't even ask how much money I lost today. Okay, because I just looked at the number. That's bad. That's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Hey, yeah. this is why you don't play in the casino known as the stock market. Yeah, it's it's not good. It's a sham. The uh, hedge funds yeah. are doing this great thing now, where basically, you know, when you're sure. drunk at night. And you look at what you can buy on Amazon and then you take it out of your cart and keep putting it back in and see how much that would cost. Yeah. They do that it's, with stocks and then they don't actually purchase it. So it, it just drives it's not the even, price down. It's not even that. What, it's more like hot potato. So I have a couple of stocks. You want a couple of stocks? Here, let me throw it to you. Oh, you don't want those stocks? Throw it to Reggie. Oh, Reggie doesn't want it? Throw it to Christina. Sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Ponzi, yep. so that it, shit. No, it's called ladder attack. And basically, that, it's that's a what it is. So they keep tossing that around. But because of that, every single time, it's like, okay, I have, let's say, a thousand shares. I'm tossing my thousand shares to you. It looks like you bought a thousand shares, but you didn't really buy them. Are you saying shares or chairs? Chairs. <laughs> shares. 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 Oh, like, okay. Shares. The singer. Thousand Shares. Shares. Okay. Yeah. shares. <laughs> I think I got the handle on this Pan Pam situation. Chairs. Well, they're almond sun, right? <laughs> so I throw you a thousand chairs, 
and then you're like, <laughs> fuck, these aren't comfortable chairs. <laughs> I wanted Sonny and shares. I, I don't want these chairs. <laughs> I got you, babe. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, guys, we're giving stock advice. I think it's time to shut this shit down. There's, drink. There's, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Choke, choke, shot. choke. Okay, okay, bye. We'll close on the shot. Just slam. Shotgun to this.